Capricorn, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for March, 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a Oracle card. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Well, let's see, Cappy. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the fool. You seem to be open to something here. Um, energetically speaking, pretty welcoming in your energy here. But let's see what's going on. Uh, starting off the reading, you get the Ten of Cups crossed by the Two of Swords. <clears throat> There's a little bit of a stress factor somewhere. Like, the energies seem good, grounded, nice, for the most part. You're stressing about something, though. I don't know what yet. In uh, your focus, the strength card. It's looking like you're um, almost like you're gathering up some energy here. Like like you need to gather up some energy in the sense of maybe you're tired. Maybe you feel like oh you know I need some rest. I need to. Um, it's it's a matter of piling energy up and good energy, but in the sense of I need it. So it's almost looking like, yeah, maybe you, <clears throat> you're doing something that requires a whole lot more energy or uh, you're just tired a little bit. In the recent past, the Page of Cups, things looking good here. We are talking about, from what I can see here, not only you, but there's also a connection attached to you, which seems to be flowing quite right. Um, so in regards to that connection, it looks like everything's okay in there in your strength the devil now that's your energy so i'm happy to see it there it could also signify all sorts of other things but we're not going to get into that yet we'll wait for clarification in the uh immediate future the ace of pentacles a brand new beginning is at play here for you supporting this reading the nine of cups emotional balance so as i said things are looking quite balanced quite good for the most part. There's little things here and there, but we'll get to that. And the energy that, oh, well, that's what it is. The energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it, uh, the temperance card. <clears throat> you could be running out of patience here and there. You know, you could be um, trying to rush through something which could create that uh, stress factor over there. In your hopes and fears, the Six of Cups, you're giving me that soul connection that I was talking about here. So you're feeling good about it by the looks of it. In the potential outcome, the Two of Cups. There's love there. I mean, you know, okay. Let's clarify. Let me do the full. <clears throat> yeah. It's one of those things, huh? Where it looks good on the surface and it's like, okay, let's get in a little deeper. And it's like, what the, what's going on here? All right, so for the fool, you get the four of cups, the five of cups, the nine of swords. Um, this potentially looks like a pattern, you know, when things aren't necessarily feeling steady and stable to you, you could get into worry mode. Um, and a lot of the times, you get out of that worry mode and you're like, what the fuck? What was that for? You know, I just complicated things. So it almost looks like you're a little bit upset with yourself when you do that. And I, I do see a little bit of that in here in the sense of, you know, why stress out here? Like everything, energetically speaking, feels fine. Why wouldn't we let that just run as it is and instead try to complicate it? Not that you do it on purpose. But if it's coming in as a pattern, that means that, you know, even if everything is fine, you hang on to little things that are not, and that's just going to grow into some sort of, oh my God, what's going on? When in fact, there's nothing really going on. So, <clears throat> okay. Let me do the Ten of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Page of Swords.
everything's fine. I'm like, I can't, I can't. Everything's fine. Everything's working out properly by the looks of it. Um, I don't know, there's progress here. And it's not, the Sin of uh, Cups here is not only coming through for you personally. You are tied up to another energy in here. So it looks like there's progress here. You know, things are going, moving forward in a good way. Steady, maybe at times considered a little slow um, from your perspective, but still good. Let's do the Two of Swords. The Ten of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Sun. There is a partnership that is bringing in some heaviness here. And it's not this one that I'm seeing here as the overall, like, the one attached to you. It's another one. It's another one. Where you're shooting for something, right? And I feel like in order for you to get to where you need to go here, you may need to partner up with somebody. And whoever this is right now, in this moment in time as a partner um, towards where you need to go, and it could be work here that we're talking about, um, it feels like there's some bumps in the road there, there's something. There's something that makes the situation not flow as smooth as it should. Maybe that's the worry here. Um, <clears throat> but even if that's the case, it's still added on stress, you know? Like you, you could do without. Okay, the situation is difficult. Okay, it's difficult. Why make it even more difficult than it is? You know what I mean? So, okay, let's do the Strength card. The Hierophant, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords. Yeah, you're going down a little bit in your energy. That's why the Strength card is here. That's why you need that picker-up or kind of an energy, you know? Um, like that little boost to you. Because your energy is going a little south here. You and you, you know, in how you're feeling about things. So because this whole stressful situation is at play and whatever i feel like you're sinking into a little bit of a low vibration kind of an energy and it pulls you down it pulls you into that place of possibly fears overthinking you know like oh my god i can't do this da, 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 you know things like that so <clears throat> it does feel like you have some sort of um knowledge here to bring yourself back to to give yourself that boost so that's what you're trying to do but you've definitely fallen a little bit under under the weather there. You know, and I kind of get the sense that you found yourself there and you don't even know how you got there. Like, why, why, why am I feeling this? What the hell? What's wrong with me, you know? Nothing's wrong with you. It happens. Uh, let me do the devil in your strength. Yeah, you got this. Ultimately, you got this. You just have, you know, a little bit of a downer period here uh for the devil you get the ten of cups the four of swords the page of wands yeah this is you telling me i'll get back on my feet i know i'll get back on my feet um so you're convinced of that something within you knows that okay i'll be fine all right well that's good that's good let me do the ace of pentacles and you are recognizing um, also through this, I'll be fine. You're also recognizing what's next to you there as you're moving forward, which I assume it's a disconnection. I don't know who this is to you, but they seem to be there, you know. Um, <clears throat> for the Ace of Pentacles in the immediate future, you get the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the Ninth, Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands. Alright, um, you are moving forward, you are coming out of this, it's not gonna, yes, it is present, pretty obvious as you're going through it, this whole, oh, I'm going south, you know, in the way that I feel and in the way that I hold myself and things like that, but you are coming out of it pretty fast. Now, as you come out of it, you're pretty excited, you're pretty like, okay, I'm fresh, let's go. And you tend to forget about yourself along the way. So you move forward, very passionate, very, ooh, I'm, I'm feeling so good. You know, especially because it, it's like a headache. You have a headache, it goes away, you feel so good. It's like, oh my God, oh my God, the best thing ever. That's kind of how it feels here when you move forward to where you need to go, because you keep on going here. And very passionate, very excited. However, 
you're neglecting yourself along the way. Uh, where that could mean, okay, let's focus on work or let's focus on this project that is going to take me who knows where or whatever you got going on there, which is great. Focus on it. Um, try not to put yourself to the side to the extent of let's just focus on these things and when it comes to me, it's okay, it's fine, I'm not going to do anything about, you know, I wanted to go um, see a movie today, but I'm not going to do that about me because this is more important, you know. Uh, or I want to, I don't know, whatever you want to do, go outside for five minutes. Nah, because I got to take care of this, you know, nah, I'm not going to, nah. So kind of taking away from you as you move forward, even though the movement forward is good, try not to forget about yourself in the process though. Let's do the nine of cups. For the supportive energy, you get the emperor, the magician, the star. You're, um coming back in a pretty assertive and pretty good energy the energy of let's get shit done and that's exactly what you're doing <clears throat> i feel like you're missing this other aspect of yourself that needs care and you know love basically self-love <laughs> um as you embark on this and as you come out of this little bit, i'm going down a little bit oh i'm up okay let's go so you're definitely entering a great energy of a go-getter. Try not to miss that aspect of taking care of yourself too along the way. You know, forgetting about pretty much what's the most important thing, you, you know. Let's do the temperance card uh, in the hidden energies. You get the strength card, the five of wands, the lovers. There's a conflicting energy at play. I feel like this energy is not yet completely established in the sense of, I'm not sure if you want to go left or you want to go right with it because the energy is not done and settled and grounded for me to be like, oh, okay, that's what you want to do. Mm -mm, I kind of see you split. I kind of see you in the middle of left and right and trying to figure out where that goes. It has to do with a connection um, <clears throat> I feel like it's not going to hit you very obvious. It's not one of those things where you just stop in your tracks and you're like, Hmm, what should I do about this connection? It doesn't show up like that. It shows up as being very subtle and very undetermined at this point in the sense of, I don't know what the fuck this is about. I have no idea what you're talking about here. I just see it that it's related to a connection. Uh, now whether that's okay. This connection is important to me. I want it with me all the way till the end. Or this connection is important to me, but I kind of want to do my own thing to the side of it. I don't know. I don't know what this energy is because at this point in time, it's undetermined. It's cooking. It's trying to to settle into something. So it's not. It's there. So if ever this. I don't know, this idea about this connection comes through, this is where it's coming from, but it's not there yet, it shouldn't be there yet, <clears throat> the way it shows up. For the Six of Cups in your hopes and fears, you get the Hermit, the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords. Um, remember what I told you about that energy being by your side, like all the time there, very supportive, very loving, very everything you need? Um, again, I have no idea who they are to you, um, but you seem to know and you seem to want to give to this situation from a place of because I want to, because it feels good, because it makes sense, because everything kind of pans out in the way that this connection shows up tied up to you. So it's a good one at this point in time. Uh, you're still doing your own thing, whatever that is moving forward but this connection is constantly there because you choose to to have it with you there you know uh to have them with you along the way so it's kind of like part of your experience and it's because you want to there's a lot of clarity in there around it for the two of cups in the potential outcome you get the high priestess the nine of pentacles the eight of cups da -da 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 -da. There's, there's still a separation though. There's something going on within this connection and it's not yet defined. It's not yet defined. It's not a bad thing from what I'm seeing. So you don't have to be necessarily concerned about it, but it could be taken in a wrong way. 
Um, but because it's not defined, I'm not sure where it leans. From what I'm seeing in the potential outcome, it could be that you're gaining more of a sense of independence, or they are, or the both of you are, which that's the healthiest thing you could do for the situation. It's not, you know, it depends on how it's perceived on the other end, though. Because if it's perceived that, oh, you're keeping distance from me, oh, uh, from a place of codependency, then it might be tricky. Uh, these energies are not yet established, so that's why they're not really falling into that place, but they're leading in that direction of maybe there's going to be a um, stronger sense of independence within this connection, which again, I don't see that as a bad thing. It could be interpreted as a bad thing from the other side depending on who you're dealing with and how they're kind of looking at this, you know, so, okay. But uh, let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups, the Judgment card, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's a shift at play and it's pretty subtle. It's not direct. It's not one of those that you see, oh, things are changed here. Mm -mm. It's pretty subtle where it's just you know you you kind of go about your day and it's happening this shift is happening and then one day you wake up and it's like oh my god something changed here you know but you can't quite place your finger on it and you're in the middle of that shift a little bit so that could be taken on your part as feeling uncomfortable at times through this dynamic through this connection and you know kind of taking it as oh something's pissing me off or something you know you might even blame whoever this is but it's not that it's the shift for the connection that's happening right now and as i said because it's undetermined and things aren't energies aren't quite grounded within this shift it's kind of like it's trying to restructure to see where it takes uh this connection as of now you know so it could feel a little difficult at times and you may not know why but everything's fine from what I'm seeing here. It's just a shift, nothing to worry about. We all go through that. And, you know, if we don't know what it is, we might take it in the wrong way. And then it's a shit show and then yeah, and don't go there. Anyways, let's do Into the Lonely Woods. Hope is like a hummingbird. Nice. Let's see. <clears throat> Hope will come to you again. And just when you feel most heavy, most joyless, know that the miracle will occur. Like a hummingbird, it will come small and weightless, bringing back the joy of living, the lightness of being. Soon you will savor the sweetness of life. And wherever neg negativity creeps in, in whatever form it comes, it will be transformed. Love shall come in the simple task of life and gratitude will flow from your heart. Like the hummingbird, you may feel small, but you are capable of the most amazing feats. Feats. F-E-A-T-S. Your ability to change, adapt, and recreate your own life now grow strong and you come to respect your resilience your playful nature your nature natural optimism all these treasures return light as the hummingbird sweet as the nectar of flowers i think this is in regards to your period of time of ooh, life sucks or whatever you're going through here but as i said this is i don't see this lasting for long so hummingbird is coming through apparently but that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.